What's going on YouTube? It is John from the Odd Tech Channel coming at you today with an awesome video bringing you the top five graphics cards for the money for the coming year 2016. We got some awesome Team Red AMD cards and some awesome Team Green Nvidia cards. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Up first, we have a great card from Team Red. That's AMD's Radeon R7 372GB video card for just $110 after a mail-in rebate. This card represents a great value because you'll get around 40 frames per second and all the latest AAA titles at 1080p at max settings. So that's better than a console's performance. More specifically, you'll get around 45 frames per second in Battlefield 4 at max settings, which is a visually beautiful game and it's pretty demanding. Also around, around 37 frames per second in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 max settings, 43 frames per second in Fallout 4 max settings, and Just Cause 3 around 35 frames per second in max settings 1080p, Rainbow Six Siege max settings 46 frames per second, and a game like Star Wars Battlefront in 1080p max settings expect around 44 frames per second. For a super demanding game like The Witcher 3 with hair works on at max settings you'll get around 20 5 frames per second, which is a notoriously difficult game to run with hair works on. But as you can see for gaming in 1080p, this card represents a great value because you'll get playable performance in almost every game at max settings, and you may have to turn the settings down a bit for those super demanding games, but for just $110, $120, this is an awesome card. And for games like WoW, Dota, League, this card obviously will just crush it. Up next, we have another great card from AMD. That's the R9 382 GB video card for just $180 right now. $170 if you want to take advantage of a mail-in rebate. This card is perfect for 1080p gaming and perfect if you have a 1080p 60 hertz monitor because you'll get frame rates and all the latest AAA titles in the high 50s. Producing a little more FPS than its closest competition, Nvidia's GTX 960. There's also a four gigabyte version of the R9 380. Right now, it doesn't produce that much of a difference in terms of FPS, but it's only 20 more dollars. So if you're not on a super tight budget, I would go ahead and opt for the four gigabyte version. Cost per frame, the R9 380 is a big winner, placing it in the sweet spot of the graphics card market. You'll get around 60 frames per second in Battlefield 4, max settings, 1080p, around 47 frames per second in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, max settings, 60 FPS in Fallout 4, max settings, 50 FPS in Just Cause 3 max settings, 56 FPS Rainbow Six Siege, and around 60 frames per second in the awesome Star Wars Battlefront. And for a game really demanding like The Witcher 3 with hair works on max settings, expect around 35 frames per second. As you can see, this card is perfect for 1080p gaming and doesn't kill your wallet. Up next, we have a great video card representing Nvidia. That's the GeForce GTX 970, 4 gigabyte video card for just $310. This card just kills it for 1080p gaming. This card is also very capable for gaming in 1440p. For a game like Battlefield 3 at max settings in 1440p, you'll get around 60 frames per second, which is just perfect. 45 FPS, Witcher 3, hair works off, 1440p. So around 50 to 60 FPS in max settings and all the latest AAA titles in 1440p. This card is just awesome because it's great for 1080p and 1440p. That all said, it's hard to mention the GTX 970 without talking about the similarly priced and the biggest competitor, the R9 390 from AMD, the eight gigabyte video card. So these cards are very neck and neck performance wise. And also the GTX 970 right now at select retailers comes with a free game, either Assassin's Creed or Rainbow Six Siege, which gives it a little bit of edge and value in my opinion. But both these cards are incredible and you can't really go wrong with them. And I like that the AMD has that eight gigabytes of video buffer. So they're both great. Up next, we have an amazing video card for 1440p gaming from Team Red. We have AMD's Radeon R9 390X, eight gigabyte video card for just $410. This graphics card fills a nice void in the GPU market because you go from the R9 390 8GB card and the GTX 970 at just over $300 or you can go all the way up to the GTX 980 which is priced just under $500 at around $480. So at $410 this card is a great value for 1440p gaming. Expect an average of around 65 frames per second in Battlefield 4 max settings, 63 frames per second in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 max settings. 
65 frames per second in Fallout 4 max settings, 63 FPS in GTA 5 max settings. That all said, the R9 390X does consume about 25% more power than the GTX 980, but it is at around a 20% price discount, and the performance is pretty close in 1440p, so it makes the R9 390X a very interesting offering from AMD. Alright guys, that concludes this video of the top 5 graphics cards going into 2016. What's your favorite graphics cards or what are you rocking in your rig? Leave it down in the comment section down below. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Comment if you have a comment and let me know what your favorite GPU is. And guys, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot and will keep you updated on my latest videos. This is John from the Tech channel. Until next time.